Hello friends, there are millions of known organic compounds. Learning and understanding the reactions of these compounds deepens our understanding of the world around us. But before we look at the chemical reactions, it is also important to look at the structure and the naming of these compounds. In this video, we will share some fun activities to teach the IUPAC nomenclature for naming organic compounds. This lesson was made in collaboration with Sangeeta Kulkarni ma'am from St. Mary's High School. IUPAC nomenclature is a topic typically taught to the 10 standard students. Though learning nomenclature is very important for all future lessons in chemistry, students tend to find it a bit unappealing. I used to find that students are not much interested in learning a set of rules or a set of names. Thus, we have tried to make the activities interactive and bring back the joy in learning. In fact, students can also try these group activities post class to strengthen their understanding. These activities will help us to explain the IUPAC nomenclature for straight chain compounds, identify the longest chain in a branched compound and explain the IUPAC nomenclature for branched chain compounds. We began with an introductory activity that conveys the logic behind the nomenclature process. For this activity, we need a bag full of things. It is recommended to have a set of things of each kind. For example, multiple kinds of books or multiple kinds of pens. We ask the students to come up with a set of rules to name the objects in the bag. They could come up with any criteria of their choice such as shape, color, type and name the objects in the bag. For example, the big yellow bag is based on object, size and color or the thin mechanical pencil is based on size, object and its type. Students should use the same set of rules to rename every object in the bag. Later, they explained their set of rules to the class. We even made it fun by asking everyone to guess the object they are referring to using the criteria they have created. This activity made the students appreciate the importance of nomenclature and how a simple set of rules allows us to name over a million compounds. We then began to understand these set of rules with the help of a worksheet. You can find the link to this worksheet in the description box below. We divided the students in groups and asked each group to work on the worksheet together. In this worksheet, we have filled the chemical formula and IUPAC name for methane, ethane and propane. Now, students have to figure out the rules that are already set. If they are able to fill in the rest of the sheet, they have understood the suffix rule and the general chemical formula for alkenes. Similar worksheets for alkenes and alkynes can be found in the description box below and also can be solved in the class. After this, we moved from naming straight chain compounds to naming branched chain compounds. For the second activity, we need some whiteboards with some organic structures written on them and a long thread. Mark the longest chain of carbon atoms by placing the thread or a ribbon around it. Number the carbon chain such that the side chains have the lowest possible number. A sample worksheet for branch chain compounds is also available in the video description. Write down the position and the name of any side chain and the name of the parent carbon chain. Now combine them together and don't forget to pay attention to the alphabetical order while combining these. Identifying the longest chain and numbering the side chains to get the lowest possible numbers is difficult. But the students can get better at it with practice. If we gamify this activity, it makes the activity fun and students tend to practice it repeatedly. For the final activity, we need some clay and some matchsticks. 
we divided the students into groups and each group had to make a molecule. You can make simple hydrocarbon molecules from clay and matchsticks wherein the clay becomes your carbon or hydrogen and the matchsticks become the bonds between them. Herein I am making the model of a methane molecule. Once they make the molecule, students had to name the molecule or they could choose to make any molecule based on the given set of names. Learning and practicing the rules of nomenclature can make this difficult topic a little bit easier. The activities in this class were designed to make the topic a little bit more engaging and my students responded to these enthusiastically, which made the class time really fun. The text lesson plan for this video is linked in the description box below. Do let us know your feedback after trying them in your class. Thank you for watching.